Good morning, folks. We've got earthquakes, space news, and solar activity to discuss. We had a special video last night that is definitely worth seeing, and we'll have another one tonight. But we are starting, as always, with our star. And we find the last day on the sun was like a pot about to boil. Crackling C-class flares, several plasma filaments crossing Earth-facing heliographic longitudes, and back here at Earth, a slight uptick in the solar wind. While it appears the filament CME may have missed the Earth, the coronal hole stream has settled in, with solar wind speed in excess of 700 kilometers per second and disturbed geomagnetic conditions. Had a break above KP4 several times in the last 36 hours. This morning, we're watching a filament release on the departing limb, and we'll keep our eyes on the Earth-facing filaments today, as well as the sunspots. A moderate count today with three mid-sized and mildly complex regions. Flare probability is moderate, with C-class events likely, and a chance for M-class flares as well. A couple six-pointers struck south of the Fiji Islands in the last day. Luckily, both those seismic events were out to sea with minimal damage potential and produced no tsunamis. The first private moon landing has been attempted, and it appears to have failed. No contact has been re-established with the lander, and first indications are that it crashed. Was aiming for a potentially mineable crater. Top story today is about a paper on the Carrington event, the Great Solar Storm of 1859. A previous paper had said that magnetometer signatures give reason to believe it was a current sheet impact rather than a CME, and while that is certainly not the prevailing view, as this new paper suggests, something notable is that their rationale here for why it wasn't a current sheet is that it couldn't possibly have been as powerful as it was, powerful enough to trigger the Carrington level disruptions. The caveat, while I still think it was a massive flare in CME, is that this event was not only a solar super flare, but it coincides with the beginning of Earth's magnetic pole shift, signifying the arrival of the galactic current sheet. While the paper is correct that the Sun's current sheet wouldn't have been strong enough, a combined effect with the galactic current sheet arrival? Maybe not out of the question. Just a fun little academic note for veteran observers well versed in the disaster cycle. As I said before, had a good video out last night detailing the more serious electrical issues from the level 4 solar storm we had earlier this week. Worth watching if you missed it. We'll have another one coming out tonight as well. It appears as time goes on the questions about the ice are growing and since watching the playlist is too daunting a task for most, we address the situation once again. This one, due this evening. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more and check out our resources at the links in the description box below the video. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.